everybody. We're bobtailing today. No trailer behind us. I'm going to rescue a van trailer in Saskatoon. Right now I'm on the Manitoba side of the Manitoba Saskatchewan border at the rest area here. I'm going to be headed west right away. I slept here overnight. I have about another five hours or so, five and a half hours to get to Saskatoon. I have to get there before 6 p.m. today, Saturday. The trailer, uh, the truck that was pulling the trailer broke down and the unit along with the trailer, or the, the trailer anyway, is uh, in a secure yard in Saskatoon. And uh, after 6 p.m. I can't access it. And tomorrow, Sunday, can't access it on Sunday. I'd have to wait till Monday. So I have to get there today before six. That's why I left right away. Uh, right away after I was done my dolphin run yesterday. Just dropped that trailer off at work. Tied my tarps to the catwalk. Hopefully I won't have a problem uh, finding a spot for them once I have the van trailer, but we'll figure it out. We're going to take that van trailer to Edmonton tonight, and then we have to wait till Monday to get unloaded, unfortunately. But uh, the reason, like I said, we're here today a day early is to get that trailer out of that secure yard. So let's go rescue a trailer, shall we? Everybody ready to rock and roll? Diesel? Ready to rock and roll, man? You're welcome up here on your throne anytime. You're the Lord. You decide when you want to take it. I understand that mattress back there is very nice. I slept so good again. New mattress from Odyssey Truck Mattress. You guys should really check them out. I'm going to sleep on it for like another couple of weeks and then I'm going to let you know how it feels overall. But so far, the first few nights in here have been heaven sleeping on a cloud. You'll hear more about it uh, in the next couple of weeks once I have a good, good idea of what it's like. Here we go. Sound the trumpets. It's kind of nice not pulling a trailer. It's like driving a car. Just a really big car, a large car. This is our extra super duper fancy rest area here in Western Manitoba. It has running water, mint. They have the stop sign, and I don't. Okay, we gotta go this way. There it is. It feels like a prison cell bathroom in there, but like I said, running water. Very fancy for Manitoba. I'm just poking a little fun at my home province here. It's not really that bad, but Alberta's actually got worse rest areas. Sorry, Alberta. They're better in many other ways, but in the rest area department, Alberta seems it's okay just to, uh, you know, build a nice paved parking lot, yeah. And then for a bathroom, just dig a hole in the ground and put a hut over it. Call it a rest area. Let's see Alberta, right? Am I right, all you guys out there out west? And then there's Saskatchewan. We, we can't even talk about Saskatchewan because they don't have rest areas. They just don't do them. The few that they do have are for cars only, not for trucks. Thanks, Saskatchewan. Appreciate it. That is the Prairie Provinces. I poke a little fun around. This is my home. I love it here, though. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. I love the Canadian prairies. From southern Manitoba up through Saskatchewan to Alberta. Rocky Mountains out west, black fertile ground. beautiful place to call home if you like this kind of thing clearly a lot of people don't like the seclusion and the freezing cold weather because not many people live here and I've said it many times we're okay with that we like the quiet you know traffic isn't as bad that way so we're getting ourselves onto the Trans Canada westbound here we're gonna take Highway 1 all the way to uh, Balgoni, cut across around Regina, and head up towards Saskatchewan. Why do they put a stop sign in the median? I never understood why some municipalities do that. It's supposed to be a yield sign. That way traffic doesn't get backed up across the other line, right? What do I know? What do I know? I'm just a truck driver. I've only driven over a million miles. What do I know?
and we're off. So you're probably wondering, with no trailer behind me, Trick of Josh, how are you making money? I'm getting paid to go recover the trailer. It's uh, one of those emergency runs, you know? Someone broke down, they have a loaded trailer, it needs to be in Edmonton Monday morning, or Atchison, just on the other side of Edmonton. Uh, they need someone to go recover it. That's me. And this truck doesn't roll down the road for free, so don't worry, they're taking care of me. there's no vehicles here but they have minimal staff I guess a lot of the staff went home because of the storm but uh, that gate is not the gate that I go through that gates always closed there's another gate around the corner that I'm supposed to go to and that gate is open so <laughs> we're okay we didn't come all the way out here just to get stranded in Saskatoon and winter hasn't even started yet I'm, I've already been stranded I don't want to be stranded again <sighs> okay so now we don't want to get stuck we gotta go down to the road. We shouldn't have a problem getting down the driveway. Oh, I'm so glad. That, I thought for sure I'd be stranded in Saskatoon. That'd be my next vlog. Stranded again. None of their snowstorm. Winter hasn't even started yet. Trucker Josh just can't seem to keep, ro keep rolling. We're gonna go around to the other gate. 
I worry too much. Right away, I'm all like, oh no, oh no. Everything's fine, Josh, calm down, calm down. Don't let the anxieties own you. All right, so down to the right. What, there's a gate back here somewhere? Okay. Ah, there it is. Oh, 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 I know I'm excited too, old blue. I know. Stay calm. All right. All right, we made it. Well, let's find our trailer. So one of our trucks is here somewhere. Must be in the shop. Let's see what, uh, 5202 is what we're looking for. I see it already, it's right there. It's a dark hole trailer. Here you are, my friend. I came all the way from Winnipeg just for you. We're gonna be friends. I'm gonna marry old blue to you right here, right now. Have a little ceremony. Get my paperwork, it's right there, perfect. Okay. It's gonna be nice to have some weight on my drives again. Getting a little sketchy on the snow and ice with no weight on my truck. This trailer looks really low. Okay, before I hook up though, I gotta go and uh, move my tarps out of the way. I'm going to take a look at it. You guys want to come with? I gotta go check on the trailer and everything. Oops, let's do a pre-trip here. Pre-trip on the trailer. What do I call it? Like a trailer switch? I'm not really switching trailers, but may as well do our... Because I'm going to have to hook up and then check the lights. I will consider this all part of it. Okie dokie. All right, I gotta put my toque on though, okay guys? One sec. Hold on, I gotta put you over my toque. Just stare at the roof for a bit there. Very nice, very nice button pattern, right? I know, I know. Okay, I got you back. Okay. Whoop, whoop, hang on, hang on. Okay. Diesel, how do I look? You look ridiculous, like usual. Thank you. Okay. Hello, my pretty. Oh, he zip tied it on here. Okay, well, that's smart, I guess. Can I get it out of there without taking the zip tie off? There we go. Aha! Put this in here where it's safe. Okay. Tarps are there. I want to go and see. Make sure I know what's in my trailer. I don't like pulling a trailer if I don't know what's in there. Let's see if it's sealed or not. Air in the tires. Oh, yeah, we got a seal on it. Okay. Okay, well, then no one's tampered with it. That's good. Well, we're not leaving Saskatoon tonight. I am, uh, I'm gonna make the call and stay here. It's supposed to be a winter storm overnight. Winds gusting up to 80 kilometers an hour or 50 miles an hour. And I have all day tomorrow yet to get to Edmonton and it's supposed to clear up by 10 a.m. tomorrow. So guess what? We're gonna go tomorrow. I was hoping to get to Edmonton tonight yet, but uh, if I can do it tomorrow and I got the hours and it works with my logbook, why am I gonna risk my life? You know? I was gonna go for it. I was gonna look at it. I, I'm Trucker Josh. I, it was just winter time. Yeah, it comes around every year. I haven't figured it out, right? No. No, I'm gonna stay here. 
So, uh, got this trailer behind me. All the wheels are turning on it, right? They were before. For some reason I thought I saw them. Okay, yeah, they're turning. For some reason I thought I saw them sliding there. I was like, what happened? We're gonna go up to Flying J and uh, find a parking spot there. Hopefully there's one left for me. And shut her down. Wait out the storm. And we'll still make it with plenty of time to our delivery for Monday morning. No point in risking it. So at least this time I'm not stranded. I'm choosing to park and you can see why. It's not like it caught me off guard. I knew it was gonna snow. I, I didn't know it was gonna be quite this bad. I thought I'd be able to keep going, but uh, alas, here we are. I hope there's gonna be room for us at the Flying J. It's only 6.20 p.m. So there should still be room there, right? But since it's snowing, it's probably filled up already. I wanna make sure I get a spot where I'm not gonna get blocked in. Cause when it snows like this, Sometimes guys get a little desperate for uh, parking spots and they just block people in and then they get snowed in then they get stuck and then no one can get out. I'm gonna fuel up my tanks first, just top them up. Still got about two thirds left in there, but if it's gonna be snowstorming, you know, just in case, I wanna make sure my tanks are topped up. Gasoline price here is $1.67 per liter. That's a pretty good price comparatively to other places in the country. Diesel is going for $2.13 a liter. Oh, there's lots of spots. Lots, look at all this here, it's all wide open still. Fantastic. I'd like to park right here. But I wanna to top my tanks up with fuel first. Then we'll do a little lap around here. It does look pretty full in here, but there are spots available. There's one there too, I might take that one. Oh, looks like it's windy at the pumps. Fantastic. Look at that. This isn't gonna be fun. I paid for a spot. No, the world's not ending. It's not a sign. I just really wanted a good spot for the storm. I didn't want to get snowed in somewhere I wouldn't be able to get out easy. And I didn't want to be in a spot where I could get backed into. This is the best one I could get. Those people shouldn't be parked there. Those last two trucks, they're actually parked in the driveway. But people always park there anyway, so, oh well. There's my little ticket in my window saying that I paid for this spot. No one's in here beside me yet, but hopefully they'll be able to back in easily without hitting my truck. This way I don't gotta worry about the storm. Wind gusts are getting up to 80 kilometers an hour, like I said, or 50 miles an hour. So this is where we will sit until tomorrow. I'll sleep in tomorrow a little bit and uh, it's supposed to stop storming sometime around 10 a.m. So we'll probably get moving here around just before noon or so. Hopefully the weather will be uh, in our favor. We'll get going as early as we can. I mean, if, the, if it's not stormy in the morning, maybe we'll leave more like around eight or nine. I'll get up and see what it looks like then and make a judgment call then. I just want to drive during the day. It's supposed to be near zero visibility on the highway right now. And uh, I got a big van trailer behind me. It's supposed to be very windy. Well, why not just stay here? It's not like I'm in a big rush. I mean, I have all day tomorrow to drive five and a half hours. So, I think we'll be fine. Then I unload the following day in the morning. That'll be Monday morning. So thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. This isn't quite like being stranded up north in York Factory First Nation, but uh, we're in Saskatoon. We're in a safe spot. We got a nice warm truck stop right over there with some nice warm showers. 
were uh, full of fuel. I got lots of food, and if I were to run out, there's a truck stop right there. I have good cell service here, so it's nothing like last week when we were stranded up north. This is, this is a good spot to be. We'll talk to you tomorrow. We'll see how the weather is in the morning. Keep our fingers crossed.